Goosebumps VR project came around through MPC already being on the film itself, working on the VFX for Rob Letterman and Sony. The idea was always Jack Black in the car with the scene uh, being recreated from the films. What was really coming up first was how would you approach putting Jack inside this 3D environment? The first thought was to maybe put a uh, GoPro uh, camera rig in the car in the correct position, but we decided we'd go the other way and we'd treat Jack Black as an element that as a slice that we put inside of a 3D environment. But it meant that we couldn't break frame, we couldn't have his arms stretching out and so there were some technicalities. And so having him at a wheel of a car is perfect because he's in a fairly stationary position performing to you as a passenger. One of the challenges of shooting Jack inside that car is feeling like you're sitting next to him. Being too close to anything in 3D uh, in stereoscopic rigs uh, is really, really, really bad. The uh, common interocular is 6.5 uh, centimeters. However, when we got uh, back to the studio, we decided to change the distance just for comfort factor. That's actually where Ocula came in, uh, and we were able to invent a camera in between those two primary cameras and create the correct interocular distance uh, inside the CG scene. Lighting's another part of this in terms of using the CG previs that we had on LED screens around the real car that we had Jack in so that he had something to perform with. You know, in the ideal world, the things you planned for on set would go uh, as you planned them. Uh, realistically though, Jack is his own creative force. The director and Jack were working out a lot of the lines on the set that day, so a lot of the previs that we worked on uh, didn't really line up anymore to what we had created. Uh, we had to react and make our, uh, you know, our piece fit into what they were saying, and I think using that, we used our CG version of Jack Black to run through our lighting scene, and inside of Nuke, we were able to light him and add that element back into comp to make him feel like he's more integrated in the scene. We were able to use Nuke Studio to conform our entire piece and review it inside the DK2 headset. Uh, I think it was instrumental for being able to see what we were actually working on. Uh, the round trip to send something to the Gear VR and review it was too long, and actually being able to see that inside of the DK2 on the Nuke Studio was essential. What's really exciting about the tools that I see coming from the Foundry is, is Kara has taken tools that are typically very, very complex and made them much simpler and much faster. We're, we're creating VR because it's a medium shift. It's as simple as that. It's a, it's a door opener for new content, a new, a new wave of content. So I don't know why we wouldn't want to be involved in that.